and the way in which the RG, the guy who drew them. So oftentimes, you know, these representations of the exotic were done in extremely, you know, orientalist ways, extremely ex exoticizing ways. Um, and of course, you know, I'm speaking now of a time in the late 1970s when there was really um, one state television channel, one radio channel, you know, you know, you had the movies, but there was no internet, there was no cell phone. So it was really a different era. And I think that that particular setup really did encourage family reading, like reading as a family activity, like everybody's reading, but everybody's reading together. Um, and so, you know, I, I just was doing, I was reading from a very young age, as you can see in the photo and, um, just loved it. I loved the escape of it and um, and I was encouraged to do it. So it was, you know, both of those things, both being encouraged to do it, seeing it being modeled and enjoying doing it. I enjoyed it very much. Um, but as you can see from the photo, <laughs> this particular book that I have in my hand is Le Temple du Soleil, which is in the Tintin series. Uh, and as you can see, um, these books really had uh, like this this teenage detective Tata, and then he would go on these adventures in usually very exotic places and the way in which the RG, the guy who drew them so oftentimes you know these representations of the exotic were done in extremely you know orientalist ways extremely ex exoticizing ways so when you're a child and you're from you happen to be from one of these places you're not identifying with the locals or the natives in these stories, you're identifying with the hero, right? And the hero right. is Tintin because you're out on the adventure with him and you're trying to figure out to solve the mystery. And so it was this particular reading experience that I am talking about is one that may seem strange, I think, to American readers, but will seem very familiar to readers from, for example, across the Arab world or across indeed any formerly colonized nation that, you know, this this idea that literature, yes, is an escape. Yes, books are wonderful, but at the same time, they are our earliest exposures to very particular uh, ways of looking at the world, very particular political situations and ways in which we imagine ourselves. And so the way that we imagine ourselves from a young age is determined by these, these earlier books. So, so it was an early, like it was a wonderful uh, way of growing up and loving books, but it definitely was something that left its mark on me. And it's something that it really, as I became an adult and started reading and reflecting about all of this, I really came to um, reevaluate those, those yeah. experiences.